Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So after announcing plugin support in Bing Chat earlier this year, it seems now that Microsoft is starting to roll out third-party plugin support to a limited subset of users where Microsoft is now starting to A-B test plugins in Bing Chat, which means that hopefully later on this year, third-party plugin support will be rolling out officially to stable users of Bing Chat in Microsoft Edge. Now, unfortunately, I am not a user who has been chosen as yet to test the plugin support in Bing Chat, but one user over on X has has been chosen, and um, Vladimir Kirianov, and I hope I've got that name correct, has shared some screenshots over on X, which will give us a general idea before the feature does make its way into more regions globally. Now, just to break this down a little bit, looking at these screenshots, here we can see that uh, plugins will be found next to recent activity. So just to put this all into context, uh, if we head back to Bing Chat in my region, that's where plugins will be located, right next to recent activity. And at this stage, we are only seeing five plugins. So there's only support for th five third-party plugins at this stage which could change in the future. But nonetheless, just to break this down, um, the first is Instacart, where you can ask about recipes and discover the ingredients you need. Kayak, search flights, stays and rental cars, or get recommendations where you can go on your budget. Klarna, search and compare prices from thousands of online shops. Obviously, that says it's only available in the US. Open Table provides restaurant recommendations with a direct link to book and then shop. Obviously, that is self-explanatory regarding shopping. Now, at this stage, though, the if we head to the next screenshot, you can only use three plugins for any one conversation thread. And it says here, uh, plugins are locked to a conversation until you select new topic to make changes. So basically, at this stage, just to put this into context again, you can choose three plugins per conversation, as it says until you select a new topic. So if you select a new topic after that conversation, then you'll have to go back and then select your uh, your different plugins again for the next conversation as an example. So this these two screenshots um, provided over on X just give us a general idea as more or less what to expect. And I am hoping to get uh, the plugin support sooner than later in my region. So obviously I can show you this all in real time. Now currently at this stage, Microsoft hasn't officially confirmed uh, the actual rollout and the testing actually of this. This has only been spotted over on X and on some media outlets. So at this stage, there's no set date for the actual GA, the general availability when third-party plugin support will be rolling out officially to the new Bing in Microsoft Edge. But obviously, um, if it does start rolling out and does become a feature that rolls out to the general public or does become available in my region and I can show you plug-in support in real time, I'll obviously post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.